guys, it's V, and in this video I just wanted to touch base on the rules of infinity. Just to begin with, when we use the word infinity, it is important to realize that we are talking about a number that is either really, really huge and positive, or really, really small and negative. Thus, we have to specify the type of infinity, positive or negative. These quantities have such a large magnitude that finite numbers are insignificant, meaning that they relatively act as if they have no value. However, this does not mean that all infinities are the same. Some infinities can be greater or smaller than others, and thus we cannot make the assumption that infinity is a definite quantity within its characterization. This said, when infinity is used in a calculation, we must make our best effort to estimate the outcome. For the following video, make note that A equals a finite positive number. So, uh, our first rule is that a finite number added to infinity positive infinity that is equals positive infinity and the example I wanted to show you is 10 plus 5.4 trillion so when we add 10 to 5.4 trillion 5.4 trillion is so much larger than 10 that adding 10 does not really change the value by a significant amount so on this thus we can say it's about equal to 5.4 trillion in the same way if we add 10 to infinity that is if a equals 10 it would become insignificant since infinity is such a large quantity this would even be the case if we added 5.4 trillion to infinity. Now that's un now that that's understood, the rest the rest of the uh, rules will be much easier to understand. So in our second case, let's say we have infinity minus a finite number, and in this case, it also equals positive infinity. So like the previous case, this positive infinity is so large that by subtracting, let's say, if a is thousand, it would not change anything, and we would be left with infinity. So, our third case is if it's a finite number minus infinity. And in this case, we would be left with a negative infinity. So, this is our first glimpse of a problem where negative infinity is involved. And although it may look confusing, we can rewrite the equation and we can make it look like as if we're adding a to negative infinity. So this will like clear up some, some of the confusion. And if we do that and we substitute a for a number like 3, then negative infinity plus 3 would equal negative infinity, since 3 is so significant, insignificant compared to the fact that negative infinity is such a small, small number. For example, let's, if we say negative infinity was equal to like negative 10.2 trillion, uh, although it's not, if we can make that ex uh, for an example, if it, inf negative infinity was equal to negative 10.2 trillion, adding 3 would do nothing overall. So uh, our uh, fourth case is infinity minus infinity is undefined. Since infinities can have different values, we cannot state that infinity minus infinity actually equals zero. This ambiguity leaves us unable to actually compute the equation since it has the ability to equal anything. So, moving on, a positive infinity multiplied by a positive finite number is positive infinity. And again, this makes sense because if we're multiplying a really, really positive number by a positive number, that really, really large positive number is going to get even larger. And we can, again, characterize this large, large number, which we don't know, as infinity. And so... It, so a finite positive number times in positive infinity equals positive infinity. But we should note that this positive infinity that comes out does not equal that since it is larger in a sense. So our second case is basically the exact same thing. A finite number times negative infinity. So now that negative sign, all it does is that it changes the outcome. For example, in the first one, we noted that a, t a positive times a positive equals positive. But in this case positive times a negative equals negative infinity and this also makes sense because this also can be looked at as a positive a number multiplied by negative infinity and let's say if the positive if, let's say it's four times negative three the negative three gets more negative since four times negative three is negative twelve so in this sense this negative infinity is is smaller than this negative infinity and we can also flip the case and make it so that a this this value negative a is a negative number since a is a positive finite number and in this case we're multiplying a negative number by positive infinity and since a negative times a positive is negative 
we would be left with the negative infinity. So our next case is when a, a positive infinity, sorry, our next case is when negative infinity is multiplied by a negative finite number. And in this case, the negatives cancel out and we're left with infinity. Again, let's say if it was not infinity and it's negative 4 and a is and negative a was negative 3. So it would be negative 4 times negative 3 equals 12. We're left with a positive number and that makes sense. And in this case, negative infinity is such a large number that we're left with infinity at the end. So our next case is positive infinity multiplied by negative infinity. And this again is like everything else. But in this case, we're actually multiplying two infinities in instead of an infinity and a finite number. And that's just like saying infinity squared. And remember, infinity is such a large number that this is basically stating we're putting two large numbers and we're multiplying them together. And by God, that will give you such a large, large number that we can also define that as infinity. And in this case, this sign makes this entire equation come out to be ha come out to have a negative value or negative infinity. So the next case is when a positive infinity is raised to a power of a or a positive finite number. So like infinity squared, infinity cubed, infinity to the fourth. And in this same case, we'll make we're multiplying infinity by itself and we're making it an even larger number. And so we can still name this positive infinity since any positive number raised to a positive uh, positive another positive number would always become positive. So for the next case, however, this is not the case since it's a negative number within the uh, parentheses. And it's the same, the same rules apply since it's an infinity and it's a really, really small number. Multiplying it by itself would, it would also give an infinity, but the sign depends on, the, on, the, on what value A is. If A is an even number, then we would be, uh, our outcome would be positive infinity. But if it's an odd number, it would be a negative infinity. So keep in mind that all I'm saying for these two is that when you multiply two infinities together, the infinities are so large that you're basically multiplying two humongous numbers together and you're going to get a really, really big number. And we can label this really, really big number as infinity. And although those two, inf the, the outcome and what we initially uh, uh, raised to an exponent is the look they have the same name they're different values so lastly if you move on uh, if we go to division infinity positive infinity divided by a positive finite number equals positive infinity and this again is just basically the same thing a really large number divided by two is not going to change anything it's still going to be a really 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 large number and if 2 was 5.4 trillion, it would be the exact same thing. That's how large infinity actually is. And we would be left with positive infinity. And in this case, and same thing with negative infinity. If it was negative infinity divided by A, you would still be, with, which in case A is a positive and finite number, you would still be left with negative infinity. Because a, such a small number divided by a, a 2 is not going to make a big difference. And here all we did was we added a negative, we made the, the denominator a negative number and that does nothing except change the sign on the infinity. So in this case, positive infinity over a negative finite number would give us negative infinity. And that's like saying 12 divided by negative 3 equals negative 4. Same thing. So now the last case is positive infinity divided by positive infinity or you can even say positive infinity divided by negative infinity. And since, um, like before, since it seems like infinity over infinity would be equal to 1, this is untrue and it's because infinity can be of different values. And thus, we do not know if one infinity is larger than the other. Because let's say, like, this infinity is larger than this one, then it's not equal to 1, it's equal to, it's equal to a value greater than 1. And like the previous case, when it's infinity minus infinity, we do not know what the exact value is. And thus, we have to label this as D and E, or it does not exist. So just, just again, just to recap, infinity is such a large number that by adding it to something, by subtracting something from it, multiplying it by itself, multiplying another number to it, it's not really going to change anything. Not really. 
but you must also remember the two indeterminate forms or DNE or infinity over infinity and if we bring it back infinity minus infinity everything else will either lead to infinity or negative infinity depending on the signs